And by the way guys, check out this. I'm picking up that huge uh, supply drop and check out this skill. Surprise, mother... How is it going everybody? Ladies and the gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Today I am feeling just super awesome for some reason. Maybe because sun is shining out here and it is just perfect beautiful summer weather and i felt like i wanted to make something special today i wanted to make one special episode that i have been thinking about making for a long long time ago already uh, because what you are watching at the moment is a video footage from the event called world of tanks battle royale i believe that was hosted on the sandbox test server but uh, i have been keeping this footage and i actually have a couple more battles a couple more victory battles so, so yeah okay i spoiled it i am going to win this battle royale battle and i actually have a lot more victories guys because i seriously loved this mode and today i wanted to talk about the battle royale battle mode so, i don't know maybe it is just me or maybe it was just me who loved it to bits I really did enjoy this battle mode and I do not actually remember how many battles I played uh, in the battle royale mode. I was able to get around 10 victories in total and actually I have one victory with the first vehicle in the game. I didn't see any vehicle resupply stations or vehicle changing station like this object 432, but I am not going to take 432. I wasn't interested about 432 because in my opinion in that battle mode 5A was the boss literally the boss but uh, one i was able to get one victory with my starting t49 so maybe if you are interested i can show that battle as well in the future and uh, when we talk more about uh, this game mode we'll see what you say about today's episode anyway as i said before i freaking loved it literally loved it of course it wasn't perfect of course it needs a lot of tuning uh, with uh, consumables uh, killing rewards and so on more about that in a moment but uh, all in all uh, if they introduce it as a real game mode i think i am going to play the living hell out of it at least i was able to do that while it wasn't even perfect so yeah hello wc 132a by the way so okay uh, moving on, uh, I am pretty sure there are a lot of you guys who have never heard about Battle Royale game mode, who have never seen any episodes or any battles uh, from this game mode. So, a couple words about what this battle mode or game mode was all about. So, at the start uh, from the garage, you had four, I think, four different options, four different tier 9 light tanks. You had one WZ-132A, this one over here that is just being rammed, uh, T-49, RU-251, and D-54 lightweight. Uh, I believe those were all the options, or maybe AMX-13... 90 as well i am not sure in my opinion 1390 wasn't an option so you had to start with those light tanks after that you had to gather different resources like smaller gray resources that you saw me picking up at the start of the battle I gave you simply ammunition or sometimes some skills sometimes some equipment units i was able to actually get off-road skill that you can see on the bottom left side and i got the speed boost as well that is under button number four next to the AG ammunition and hello d100 lt i don't know how that shot didn't connect uh, but uh, from the replay you are not going to see me activating that speed boost but uh, you can quite clearly understand when this is activated because my 5a after i activate this speed, uh, speed boost that boosts my engine power by 70 percent after that my 5a turns into a medium tank or maybe even into a light tank but uh, from the replay file you are not going to see me activating it when you clicked it it was activated either for 10 seconds or maybe even for 20 seconds but after that it had some cooldown action so this was one of the consumable units that you were able to get uh, you were also able to get uh, small repair kits uh, small first aid kits uh, manual fire extinguisher or automatic fire extinguisher but in this battle i was extremely lucky i got the speed boost right away i got uh, six cents right away i got large repair kit right away which is just crucial winning anything in this mode uh, and uh, 
a medkit as well is actually crucial because when your driver gets hit and you do not have any medkit action it is just so freaking painful to play with anything whatsoever and as you can see from that angle uh, to be able to see what you're actually shooting at you had to aim at the enemy directly you had to put your cursor on the enemy uh, because this game mode had a completely different spotting mechanics um, you are going to see that later on during this battle as well. But uh, quickly talking more about equipment units and skills that you were able to pick up from the supply drops. I think we had three different supply drop options. We had that grey one that spawned on the map. We had a green one as well, if I remember correctly, or maybe it was uh, in different color. And a supply drop that you can see on the map, marked on the map, that gives you the most things. So that supply drop... Uh, is dropped or was dropped by the plane itself and it gives you a lot of skills useful skills uh, premium ammunition even that previous gray one was really unlucky that simply gave me some extra ammunition from a first gray supply point i was able to get uh, ammunition i was able to get skill and that booster equipment or consumable unit as well but picking up all the equipment units all the skills is just super crucial winning one battle I would say it is equally important or maybe even more important than upgrading your vehicle. That D49 was still playing with the stock D49, most likely he's still looking for vehicle upgrading stations. Uh, you were able to upgrade your tank to STB1, to TVP D50, Object 442, E50M and um, WZ111 Model 5A. Uh, if I am not mistaken, those were all the vehicles, or maybe AMX 30B as well. I do not remember exactly, but uh, my favorite, uh, hands down, is 5A in that list. It is just uh, such a beast, and uh, over here you were able to see that the plane supply drop, that gives you the most uh, stuff. Uh, usually it gives you some premium rounds, uh, consumables, uh, skills, equipment units. It had odds to give you absolutely everything, so it was kind of key to pick up at least one plane supply drop as well to be able to win the battle. Uh, but here you can see the spotting difference, uh, we know that something was over there, something was driving around and suddenly Object 432 has been spotted, that shot goes into the turret, sadly I do not have any premium rounds at the moment, so I have to play with uh, that one, and over here I activated my speed boost once again, so you are quite easily able to see how my vehicle activates, behaves, no, not enough counter-pressure, and god damn, this guy was able to get away and once again, Again, I was aiming at the right position, but oh well. So let's try to chase down Object 432 instead. And what I found behind that little bump was WZ-5A fighting with Object 432. And over here you can see that enemy 5A most definitely has, the, has that boost activated. This guy was driving around uh, like a medium tank or maybe even like a light tank. And one quick shot into the 5A. 432 is also over here and I think um, if I remember correctly I was able to pick up the kill before that 5A yes I was able to do that I simply had to do it before the enemy 5A because if you or the enemy vehicles uh, kill something destroyed vehicle leaves town a little supply drop that gives you extra ammunition and HP I was still at full HP so I didn't care about the HP but I didn't want to give any HP to the enemy 5A and once again this guy is cruising around with speed boost activated drifting like a light tank with his 5a but uh, talking about that kill supply so-called kill supply when you destroy someone it leaves down a little package that gives you some hp and some ammunition now this is most definitely one thing that needs to be improved uh, it is really sad that it doesn't give you any equipment units or skills that this guy already had picked up at least to give us 50 percent or of, uh, what uh, this guy had like random 50% of equipment units and by the way guys check out this I'm picking up that huge uh, supply drop and check out this skill oh my god what do you say about that pretty damn awesome kill indeed I actually didn't remember it so it was quite an awesome feeling to see it once again uh, but uh, from that previous plane supply drop I was able to pick up a spore liner and four heat rounds uh, it is actually quite awesome that heat rounds in this battle mode were quite 
deficit, I can say you were extremely lucky if you were able to pick something up. For example, I was extremely lucky to see another supply drop over here that gives me enough HP that I just lost. And I picked up Coated Optics. In this battle mode, it is just mm, perfect equipment unit. You are able to outspot enemy vehicles and all they are able to see the first time you spot them is your minimap figure or your mini minimap icon. So they have to look for it. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you already spotted them and you were able to deal some damage to those guys. Because previously, I think in the middle of the battle, you were able to see me being outspotted as well. So, versus that 5A, I am going to use a couple heat rounds. And this guy actually had no idea where I was. He didn't see me behind that, uh, uh, that wall. Once again, really awesome spotting mechanic. Uh, you do not see the outline. You do, you do not see the name unless you aim directly towards it. And we have another supply drop on the map. So, let's try to pick it up. Hopefully, a couple more heat rounds. Over here, I activated my speed boost just to be over there a bit faster. And luckily, I was the first guy over here. Uh, I actually have two more enemy vehicles left to kill and oh, perfect. Simply perfect. Tank gun rammer. On the top of everything I already have on my vehicle. Plus one skill that deals more damage to the critical modules on the enemy vehicle. But it gets even better because another supply drop drops next to me and now I am done. The only thing I am missing, actually, the only crucial thing I am missing is uh, either manual or automatic fire extinguisher. Because from this supply drop i was able to get ventilation as well so now speed boost ventilation large caliber tank on rammer actually vertical stabs wouldn't hurt as well so there are a couple key uh, equipment units and i'm actually faster than freaking t49 so here you can quite clearly see the power of the boost <laughs> I was keeping up, I was actually overtaking T49 and hello Object 140. I am still at full HP, so now I know that with all the equipment units I have on my vehicle, this game is as good as in the back versus that 140. And by the way, it didn't say it in the tooltip when I picked up my first plane supply drop that gave me spore liner. It actually gave me some extra HP. Stock HP was 2200, but I have 2640. So Spoliner actually gave me some extra top or maximum HP. And now that 140, I am actually not even 100% sure that this guy can spot me from that range. By the way, another supply drop behind me, but I think I am not even going for it. Let's activate speed boost and let's go for the kill. Uh, one more vehicle left to kill and after that, I actually have a scoreboard for you as well. I still have 2000 HP left. Come on. What are you waiting for? Go in and ram that 140. Where are you little bastard? Oh, here you are. So one ram, quick shot on the move. I am not even going to use premium shots, I believe. So let's try to ram this guy to death. I have a lot of HP still left. And with my speed boost, I can back up faster than this guy can move forward. So another victory in the bag. Hooray, hooray, and eight kills, so which is actually quite a decent result, if I remember correctly. And uh, by far the most damage done, and by far the most kills. Yes, almost double the amount of damage than the second Kai. Uh, with a D54 lightweight, not bad. Anyway, this was Battle Royale game mode. I loved it, I freaking loved it, as I have said many many times already. Of course, it is not perfect at the moment, the kill resupply needs to be looked at, the reward system needs to be looked at, I would like to see some top list, like uh, list players with the most wins, with the most kills, kill death ratio maybe, some missions, some special missions of course, or wargaming plays, you can even make it as an event available every once in a while, like you are doing with uh, Frontline at the moment. I think Frontline is coming back, like every once in a while. But uh, hashtag bring back Battle Royale. I freaking enjoyed it, despite all, all the flaws it had, all the rough edges. Of course, it was on this sandbox test server, something that started out as an April Fool's joke, turned out to be super awesome battle mode for me at least i don't know how you feel would you like to see battle royale in the game 
or you do not give a damn. Uh, just give us more options. Give us frontline, give us regular battles, give us battle royale, give us uh, clan wars, uh, team battles. Just options. People love options. The more options we have, the more stuff we have to play with, and the more, more players you get. I guess this, this is not such a bad thing after all. Anyway, I have been talking over 15 minutes already, so it is time to wrap it up. This was my today's episode. I felt super awesome, so I wanted to make something special and something different. Hashtag bring back Battle Royale, please. I loved it. Times 10. I hope you enjoyed. Take care, stay awesome, and subscribe, and like, and bye.